Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Last episode, I promised I would cover some uh, details about stats for, I believe, Cactus Cruiser. What the difference was between these new rocket cars uh, and the Ladybird cars. And while I was doing that, I checked a few other rides as well. So we're going to cover those right now. So, starting with... We actually end with the Cactus Cruiser, but the three I looked at were the Ferris Wheel, or Tumbleweed, with backward rotation versus forward rotation. There was no difference uh, in excitement, intensity, or nausea between those two. Uh, if you increase the number of rotations, it does make a little bit of difference, but not drastic at all. For the Berserker, or what is it originally called? Um... The Gravitron, I believe. Yeah, Gravitron. There are three different modes for it. There are Beginners, Intense, and Berserk. So Beginners has an excitement rating of 2.0, an intensity rating of 4.8, and a nausea rating of 5.74. The Intermediate has a excitement of 3.0, Intensity 575 and nausea of 6.64 and then the berserker has a 3.2 excitement a 6.8 intensity and 7.94 nausea rating So we decided to go with intense without knowing any of those details when we first started uh, But I think that was the right choice It kind of balances intensity and excitement and nausea the best which makes sense for the middle of the three options and for the cactus cruiser um let me find my notes for this. Um, with the rocket cars, you can see it's got 6.17 excitement, 6.72 intensity, 5.11 nausea. It doesn't change much going back to the Ladybird cars. Uh, we get a 6.3 excitement, a 6.84 intensity, so higher on both of those, and then a 5.12 on nausea. So it actually is better to do the uh, Ladybird cars. But I don't feel like changing that, so we're not going to bother. Uh, the parks, the year's coming to an end anyway, and we've got more important things to do than that. So, let's going to take a, a look back through our rides here, so we're not doing any transport. We built all of our gentle rides. Actually, did we ever build a haunted house? We never built a haunted house. How am I just now seeing that? We got to remedy that real quick. We're going to build a haunted house over here in this corner because nothing goes better with food from the food court than getting the crap scared out of you so that's what we're gonna do so we'll do this real quick and then we will continue going through our menus i don't know how we made it this long without building this but somehow we did and just because it's in a different area doesn't mean it's any different than the rest of our gentle rides 10 cents uh, this can be haunted home. Nice and cozy. A home doesn't have to be a house, but a house should be a home. Little uh, deep moments with Dr. D-Dub for you there. Okay, uh, so that's it for gentle rides. Um, we're not going to get a chance to build all of these. It looks like we unlocked the steel corkscrew coaster. We'll build that probably soon. Probably not this episode, but let's build a water slide. I like these. These are fun. Uh, so it's a water slide. The track is semicircular plastic channel or completely circular. Uh, there's two types of track you can do. Um, with a small amount of water running along it, boats slide along the track assisted by the flow of water. A good water slide requires at least one steep drop that can be ex extended into a complex layout. So long as care is taken on the crest of hills as dinghies can crash off the track. What that means is if you make it do, let me find an example. Basically right here, if we were to have this steep drop with a water slide and go up like this, there's nothing keeping you on the track except for gravity. So you would fly off and explode and die. I don't know how a inflatable inner tube explodes, but it does in this game. So we're going to take a look like we always do at the pre-built one, which is the demon drop goes up has a steep drop and then literally just kind of works its way all the way around so 
one steep drop is important. We're going to, since this is our very last coaster, or if you could even call this a coaster, um, we're going to, we're going to do it big. I know I say that every time we end with a coaster, but I mean it this time. We've got 22 grand to spend and nothing else to use it on. We have more than met our guest count. We need 650 and we have 1,013 park rating of 600 is needed and we have a park rating of 978 again almost max so the forest frontiers map the first one we did was definitely a tutorial map so this is the first like quote-unquote challenging one although i don't think it's challenging but that's me i can't go over that can i no we're gonna go right over this no we're not we're going to find a better place to build this since that doesn't seem to want to cooperate. We're going to make it go the other way. So we'll need a curve there and then two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay. Uh, one thing with these is they get stuck fairly easily. So I'm going to actually lower it into the ground. Uh, what I mean by they get stuck fairly easily is that if you, um, if I were to just turn that to the right, there's a good chance that it would just stop completely. Um, I'm going to have to start this going underneath this, aren't I? I don't have enough space here. Wow, that's a good start to the right. We're going underground already. Cool. <laughs> uh, we'll make sure we do it there so it doesn't interfere with anything. All right, and then here's our incline. And this is going to look pretty ugly. Uh, we're going to go straight one more. Otherwise, I'd be lowering every single piece of land right here. One, two. And that will do the incline. Kind of do it with the slope of the mountain here. If you can call this a mountain. I think uh, water slides are one of my favorite. I, what did I just do? Or why did I just do that? I know what I did. I think water slides are one of my favorite things to build in this game, just because they can be so much fun to do. <laughs> okay, like I said, we're going to make this kind of go all over the place. Okay, so that's too high for supports, it looks like. So we're going to back it off. I'll go down a couple. This isn't going to be our, our main slope, period. Let's see if we can go even higher. No, supports don't want us to. We'll do that, and then we'll go up even higher. Okay, we'll drop it one. Turn around here. This isn't our... Is this too high? Man, how is that too high? It's the exact same height as that. I don't get it. Whatever. Okay, change of plans. We're going to go this way with it. See if we can get it to weave through this thing. And time for the steep drop. Wow, that is a drop. Okay, I don't know what tile I'm on. So I don't know how we're doing here with... Oh, we're doing golden. Um, what do I want to do here? Now we're going to make it go this way, back around. Nope, we got to tighten that up. Can I do that? Yes, I can. And we're going to kind of weave in and out of everything here. So what did I start at? 21. I think I'll be okay if I do... No, I'm in level with that, or in line with that. Uh, so we need to do... An S bend, I think I can do that. Yeah, S bend right. And then we'll go up. And we're actually going to do this enclosed, just in case. Nope, we're going to have to go under that. Um, if you have it enclosed, I don't think they can launch off the track. They just kind of would bump their heads, but that doesn't actually impact the ride. Um, and then we'll open it back up for the. Actually, no, because that would send them flying that direction. So we're going to keep it closed here. 
Okay, we gotta flatten it back out. And now that it's back to level, we can go ahead and open it up again. And when I said we're gonna get crazy with this, it's not a super expensive ride. That's not what I meant by that. I meant we're just gonna kind of keep going and going and going, so. This is our next steep drop here. And this is gonna increase the excitement of almost everything in the park, I think, since it d is going through almost every ride we own, so. Uh, we might have to destroy that decoration. No, we don't, but it's gonna clip through it, and I'm not a fan of when that happens. I think it, I think it looks really ugly, so. Can I go into that? Oh, it's the land that's in the way. Okay, that's fine. We'll go straight for a little bit. S bend to the right just to get a little overlap. Nope, we can't do that. We're going to have to. Um, we'll enclose that to avoid any mishaps. And we'll go one further just so we can clear this. I hope I have enough oomph to get over everything here. We're going to find out soon enough. And then we'll open that back up. I like having some tunnels, even if they're not completely necessary. And then we'll do an S-Bend. So we, if we can back that off one, we might be able to do two S-Bends. And then, is that getting in the right? Yeah. Um... What do I want to do? If I make that a wide one, then I only have to do one us bend to the left. And there we go. Problem solved. Although we're still going to do another one because I don't like it completely uh, displacing all of the supports. It makes it look slightly unrealistic in my opinion. Uh, we're at height nine right now. We need to get to six. So we're actually going to have one more drop. <laughs> we'll go over this path here. That should be... I should have enough momentum to get up that before I do the chains. Um, 13 down to six, that should be okay. And we're just gonna do one last drop here. Deep into the bowels of the earth. All right, now we need to level it back out. That's at six, that's at five. Okay, so we're gonna back this off one height there so we can, no, we're gonna go up one height. I know what I'm doing. Right, guys? Don't I know what I'm doing? Yeah, that's that's right. I do. Okay. Um, so that land lowering was unnecessary. So we'll fix that. Nope. Dang it. Gotta fix this. I think that's where I was messing around with uh, different land styles. Oh wow, I'm just now noticing they redid these tunnels with, it looks like this uh, stone brick type texture instead of what I did uh, with this kind of yellow, yellowish texture. And yes, my voice did just crack. Um, oh well, we'll keep doing what we're doing. So we're just gonna snake this around a little bit. How cool would it be to go on a water slide that's underground? I think that would be awesome. So I need to Looks like an S-bend to the left to get that to line up right. Which it's not going to. Because I need to go one more straight, I think, first. S-bend left, please? No? That was a simple fix. Okay, and that's in line with here. And if I do a curve, that puts me there. And another curve puts me there. Okay. Man, this is going to look ugly when I'm all done with it. I'll have to pretty it back up. Sorry if it looks like I'm going super slow when I adjust land like this. I am, but... Oh, man. Okay, that was an easy fix. Um, we're going to make this piece solid just so from the outside it looks like they're coming out of a tube 
I don't know, because we won't always be in underground view. I think that looks a little bit more realistic, so you're not having cave-ins. Um, that also looks really bad, so we're going to fix that, because I hate clipping in pretty much any video game. The day a game comes out where clipping is non-existent, which for those of you that don't know what clipping is, that's exactly what that was. You could see it clipping through another texture. Uh, it doesn't look realistic whenever that happens. At least in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's fine. Sure. And then we'll make this all our same yellow. Because I like it. And that makes the slide color kind of match the tunnel. Okay, let's get an entrance and exit going. This is going to be a long, very long. I was thinking about doing kind of weaving back and forth here, but that's not going to happen because this is already excessively long. Okay, we're going to test this real quick. I hope this isn't horrible. We shall find out. Uh, boat one. Come here, boat one. Let's watch you go. Man, if I was on a water slide that had this intense of a chain lift, I don't know. I, I would pay good money for it. So let's hope they pay good money for it. I'm going to make this our most expensive ride here. I actually think that ties with Dynamite Dunes. Because water slides, as long as you make them long, the excitement pretty much just keeps going up and up and up and up and up and up. I think. Again, it's been... What, like 14 years since I played this, so. We're just gonna watch this. And just adjust. Ooh, that's fast. Oh, I barely made it up that, but that was perfect. Okay, so far so good. I like it. Oh, I was wondering why that just slowed down. I forgot that we added brakes there. We Okay, we're going, going, going. Oh, perfect. This is the first ride I've built where I think everything has gone pretty close to how I wanted it to go. And they're going to end with just enough speed to get back. Oh my goodness, that was a beautiful ride. I say all that. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> now I gotta wait for it all over again. Oh, well. We'll just launch them all and see how long of a wait there is for it to get back, I guess. Man, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. In the meantime, we can color it or paint it. We can give it a name. Um... What's a good name for this? Um, I'm going to paint it while I think of a name. So if I'm a little bit quieter during this segment, it's because I'm thinking with my head brain. I don't think I've used that color. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, I can't think of anything. I My head can't seem to do two things at once here uh we'll do it all in the same colors and then we'll have these be yellow on top no yellow on bottom which is this one and white on the bottom or on the top does that look any kind of good no the yellow looks not so great blue you can't even really see that anymore can you see red Yes, but it doesn't go with the purple. Cool, we'll do the same purple. Purple, black, and white. I think that's a cool color scheme. Um, oh, boom, perfect. Like I said, color scheme dictates name. Um, people often say that bruises are black and blue. Uh, this thing's black and purple. So that's kind of close, right? Cruising for a bruising. You're cruising on the water. Oh, I like it. Okay, so this is perfect. They get back just in time. This is... Oh, I am... This is a good last, possibly not last, ride. 
to have built. I am so happy with this. And it's a water slide, so people apparently don't care. They're going to go anyway. I do not want this thing breaking down in the slightest. Check every 10 minutes. You get your own mechanic. Just like I should have been doing on some of my other rides, but I haven't been. Oops. What are our stats? Oh, yes. Beautiful. High excitement, high intensity, medium nausea. Anything with high excitement... The intensity, it can vary, uh, and that's just going to get different people to go on it, but everyone wants to have a good time. So excitement doesn't matter if it's, uh, with, you know, the child slide or this thing. It needs to be exciting. No one wants to go on a low excitement ride. They, Some people will, but no one wants to. If you had a zero intensity, zero nausea ride, you're going to get more people going on it if it has a ultra extreme excitement rating regardless of those other ratings so oh man okay let's take a look at our park now and see september year three i wish you could get that date to pop up okay so we have one month left that kind of fills out some space there i like that i think that's the first ride we've built that's not well I don't know. Everything's kind of halfway between condensed and sprawling. And that's definitely more leaning towards the sprawling side of things. But I like it. I'm so happy with that. And people are going to be lining up for days. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. There we go. You're broke. You're broke as well. You're hungry. You don't even have enough money for food. Uh, did we get a souvenir stall during that? Is that what I saw? We did. Souvenir stall sells cuddly toys and also sells umbrellas. So I think the cuddly toys are teddy bears, as you can see there. Uh, so let's add this to our food court-ish area. I wish we had gotten more uh, stalls. This is kind of underwhelming from what I originally envisioned. Uh, cuddly toy price. I like how they call it that, not a teddy bear. And then umbrella price. Is that what we're charging at our information kiosk? Let's discount that quite a bit. Oh, and that's cool. It Because it's an umbrella, it doesn't matter what stand it's being sold from, whether it's the souvenir stall or the information kiosk, they're the same item. So it keeps the same price throughout the park. So that's awesome. And umbrellas from here get to be... Let's do a sky blue. I think that's it. No. We'll stay with the yellow. Man, they have been commenting so much that they want me to take their money. But I'm going to be a nice guy, and I'm not going to do that. I've been doing that all game so far. If you see this, you can see my cursor turns into a pointer. Or my pointer turns into a hand, whichever is the proper term. You can click on rides that are underground. It'll give you the station view, just like you were to click on it anywhere else. But Oh, we get some rain. Perfect. We got the haunted house built just in time for October. Nice and spooky. Okay. This is our park, guys. I don't know if we have enough time to really build too much else. I don't really know what I want to do for this last month. Um, we built everything that I really want to. I don't really have enough time to build a full another coaster. Um, I guess I could do something with this real quick. No. No, I don't want to do that. Mm, choo -choo -choo. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of what I want to do. Let's build another go kart track just to kind of build. No, we're not going to do that. We're gonna we're gonna pretty our park up just to make sure it looks good for when our guests celebrate at the end. I was just about to pick that up or not pick it up, but oh, one trick I just remembered that you can do. Um, See if I can find path that has vomit on it. Um, nope, my handyman's going to beat me to it. If I you get out the path tool and you find any throw up right, right here, you can delete and remove the path. It cost me $2 to do, but if you want to manually do it, or actually, you might be able to... No, that doesn't work. 
I was about to say, did they patch that? But no, they clearly didn't. That, this game doesn't get patches. But if you build over existing path, it doesn't make it any more expensive. But, and if you see that right there, guests treat unfinished path, but potentially built path, as actual path. So some of them will actually walk out onto that um, right as I talk about it. They don't do it, except our handyman does, and now he's off in no man's land. Get back on the path. I think I need to do a better job of assigning uh, footpaths and everything to my handymen. Um, they end up having much better success cleaning up after people when that's the case. So yeah, I think I'm just going to kind of beautify my park a little bit real quick. Just to make sure we end on a, on a pretty note. I know I say, oh, that's, that's beautiful, that's, that's great, oh, that looks so good all the time, but let's actually mean it. Let's actually make our park good looking, because it would so much rather be good looking. And you can see we're unlocking different track pieces. Um, I'm intentionally ignoring them. I'm trying to space out um, all the, the new or quote unquote new content for you guys, because some of it is, oh, we got festive lamps. That's kind of cool. Um, some of the stuff is, it gets, I don't want to say it gets old, but I want to save some of the stuff for later maps so that I don't exhaust everything this game has to offer on my first two maps. So if you see something and you're like, oh, why isn't he building that? I'd love to see that. I will get to it. I promise you. I will build everything this game has to offer multiple times over. I promise that. Um, but until then... I'm going to try to kind of pace myself with what I build. Um, I know, I think it was two episodes ago. I don't remember when. I said I have no idea what benches or uh, what lights do. I still have no idea what lights do. But now that we have decorative ones, I think we're going to use them. Same with this more expensive banner. Uh, how much is this one? 25. Oh, and they list them all here. That's cool. So I can just build that there. So I'm going to replace my, my ugly banner here with a good looking banner. Not that it changes that much, but it fits the theme now. So, oh man, we have a good looking park here. I'm happy with what we've done together, guys. This is a, it's not anything amazing. I know that, um, but it, I intentionally didn't make it amazing for the same reason I intentionally haven't built all the crazy fun stuff yet. Uh, I'm trying to ration it out over the course of this Let's Play. So, let's get some more, uh, some cacti going over in this area. Get some smaller ones. Get some death perception. Give these guys some something to talk about while they wait. Or something to prick their hands on. If you've ever been waiting in line for a ride. How much fun is it to just reach over the line and touch everything in your way? I'm 24 years old and I've been told many times growing up, look with your eyes, not your hands. But still, it, it could not be more fun. All the quote-unquote wood stuff is always plastic and or coated in 15 layers of like sealant to keep people from getting splinters. Or We'll do another one of these right here. Coliseum. How are we doing on time? Oh, we are so close to the end, guys. Okay, one thing that I didn't do uh, at the end of the game last time is get a good view of our guests. I was off in the middle of nowhere looking at my rides. Oh, we can't have a broken trash can. Unacceptable. At the very end of this, instead of looking at my completed objective screen, I'm going to X out of it immediately, and I want you guys to watch my park. Look at everything else that's happening, except that screen, because it's going to be gone in as soon as I can click it out of it. And now we wait. That sounded so pathetic. The merry-go-round and round music dying. <laughs> Not a good way to end. <laughs> Our park's almost done, guys. Yeah, womp, 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 womp. And it just kind of died. Oh, come on, October. You can do it. 
I think there's 31 days in every month. We are so close. So close. And this go-kart ride has just been killing it. It's doing so good. Thank you, Sidewinder. And thank you, Part 2 Productions, for providing the music to make it so epic for our grand debut. Okay, look at everyone. Clapping in synchrony. They all let go of their balloons. <laughs> they all want me to pay or charge them more money. And then they all go back to their business. Like, unless this guy. Except for this guy, who looks horribly disgusting. But he's so happy that we have succeeded. When I was a kid, as soon as I was done, this is all I would do. I would try to pop every single balloon before they got to the top of the map, which there is a top, and it seems like I'm able to one click, or one single click each one. None of them are fiddling left and right anymore. But okay, let's, let's look at our entrance there. Let's actually read our wonderful objective. So our objective, one last time, was to have at least 650 guests in our park at the end of October, year three, with a park rating of at least 600. We ended with, I don't know what we exactly ended with, um, but we currently have 1,070. So we almost doubled our guest count and we have a park rating of 995, four points away from the maximum obtainable park rating. Uh, I will figure out the percentage of the park rating, what's 995 out of 999, and put it right, or put it on screen right about now. And that's how awesome we did. So if we got a report card for this park, that's how well we did. So, okay guys, that does it for Dynamite Dunes. I hope you guys have enjoyed this park. Uh, got quite a bit more developed than Forest Frontiers. And that's going to be, I, it's not a theme, but that's going to be the case moving forwards. Every park we build, for the most part, for the most part, <laughs> wow, for the most part, I've been playing too much Roller Coaster Tycoon. Every park from now on, for the most part, will be extensively built like this. There's a couple scenarios that aren't just grow your park. Um, they give you very strict restrictions, like you have a very small park, so you have to utilize verticality and underground space to your best abil of your ability. So it's not going to be a sprawling park like this, but it's going to challenge us in a whole new way. So pardon the massive menus here. We're going to save this. And like I promised last game, or last episode, I'm going to give you a quick teaser of our new park. I'm not going to show you the objective, not going to do any of that. I guess you could pause it and look at it, but now I'm giving you ideas. So, we completed Forest Frontiers, we completed Dynamite Dunes. That is two out of a lot, I'm not counting right now, two out of the rest of them. And that's just for the original. We also have Corkscrew Follies, which if you look at the size of the uh, scroll bar, there's even more maps on Corkscrew Follies and Loopy Landscapes, those are the same three real and one extra. I might make kind of special videos out of these. Um, I'm not going to actually really play these parks, but okay. So our next one is Leafy Lake. Um, if I remember correctly, this is one of my favorite maps when I was a kid. So we'll just take a look at the park real quick, just so you can see what we will be building on next episode. This is why it's called Leafy Lake. I'm guessing this is the leafy, all the trees, and this is the lake. So very nicely decorated. Uh, it's got this kind of stretch here in the back, this little outcropping on the side here. And then I think that just goes through the water there. Uh, if we check the underwater view, we can see it. Yeah, so our fence goes underwater there. But this is what we're going to be working on when we get back uh, tomorrow, I guess. So I'm, this also should be the first video that's up at a reasonable hour of the day. So I'm going to attempt to continue with that. I'm going to attempt to upload them before noon, probably every day, noon uh, central standard time, at least, because uh, that's the time zone I'm on. But that has been another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope you guys are looking forward to what we have in store for you next time. Until then, take care, and I'll see you then.